Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to design brick structure in Stat Pro. So at first open Stat Pro. Click on new project. Click on space. Give name, choose location. Length unit meter. Four cement clearance card. Then click on next. Then click on add beam and finish. Okay. If you want to design brick structure in Stat Pro. We have to design lintel and roof because the rest portion will be made by brick. So I am going to design the lintel first. The lintel is actually one kind of beam. Okay, we are going to design. I am not going to design the whole lintel. We are going to design only this portion of lintel. This is a window. So we are going to design only this length of lintel. Okay, and the result are to design the lintel, and the result will go through all the all over the lintel. Okay, so this is a simply supported beam. Two sides are fixed. Okay, the length is 1.5 meter. You can increase the length. Okay. So go to Stat Pro now for create beam create a node first click on zero portion switch off the grid now select node cursor select the node copy the node from your keyboard control C and for paste the node control V from your keyboard in the X direction 1.5 meter ok now add two nodes by add beam now we have to give the support for that go to support page click on create add the fix support now select the support select the two nodes click on assign the selected nodes and assign and yes close it now we have to give them property the property will be 10 millimeter or um, sorry 250 millimeter by 250 millimeter because the wall is 250 millimeter okay go to define go to rectangle it will be 0.250 by 0.250 then click on add close and goes to this member now select the member click on assign to the beams assign yes now we have to give them property and for them go to load page click on load cast detail click on add loading type dead give title dead add close select date click on add add the self word and now member weight now for member weight now this is the lintel this is the lintel okay now the top um, upper portion is one meter you can increase the length um, we have to calculate the length breadth and height okay now this is the length this is the breadth and this portion is height and we have to calculate the load and cross with unit weight of brick and unit weight of concrete ok the load will be for 1 meter by 1 meter the load will be minus 6 ok then click on add then close cell phone goes to total view now if you don't understand the load I am again show you this is lintel and the load comes from the upper portion now the upper portion is brick and the beam ok now calculate the unit weight of sorry calculate the length breadth and height of the wall 
bar and also the beam and cross with multiply with for brick 19.2 and for concrete 25 okay and one total load will act on the link tail so for 1 meter by 1 meter the load lane load will be 6 kN actually it is 5 kN I increased the load 6 kN it will be safe ok now it goes to the beam click on assign to system select the beams click on assign yes now we have to analyze it go to comment analyze perform analyze ok analyze run analyze save nothing to worry now I have to design it close and go to design concrete design select code I am going to select IS456 now select parameters I am going to select clear FC and FY main ok define the parameters clear code will be 1 0 to 5 25mm add FC will be 20,000 click on add and if I main will be 415 add close now it goes to the total structure assign to view yes FC goes to assign to view yes if I main assign to view assign yes now go to comment click on design beam add close now in design beam select the beam click on assign select beams assign yes now go to comment sorry go to comment analyze perform analyze ok analyze run analyze save now go to output file warning is nothing now this is the concrete design or you can go to double click on the beam you can see the concrete design now see the upper portion is 2 number of 10 mm diameter and the down portion is 2 mm diameter I say 10 mm diameter 2 numbers so we are going to give the property to the whole lintel ok now go to this portion and you will see I am going to just design this portion and we are going to give the property for the whole plane tail ok now I have to design the roof ok now go to start pro again close it click on new project again click on space now meter kilometer next click on add beam finish ok for floor I have to create a rectangle click on here click a node first switch of the node copy the node by node cursor ctrl c from your keyboard ctrl v from your keyboard for paste the node the extra direction my floor will be 3 meter by 4 meter ok so 3 meter in the extra direction 4 meter in the z direction now copy the two select the two nodes copy the two nodes and paste the two nodes ctrl v in the z direction 
4 meter then ok now I have to create note sorry you have to add the beams uh, add the beam now you have to fix the supports for that go to support page click on create add fix support now in the big structure the roof is on this portion is totally fixed not just two nodes the total portion in the x z direction in four direction is total fixed but we can design that we are going to design the beam and just the four columns okay we going to take four columns so select the columns you think it column but it's not a column i'm going to need just the floor section or the floor structure if you can design the floor design just put the design in your brick structure we are, going to, we are not going to design the column or beam we don't, we don't need that ok so just design this click on assign yes because if it is not a beam stairs will not design it ok and going to design go to property page for give the property click on define rectangle it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 the beams will be 250 50 millimeter close and the floor will be for that go to thickness 0 0.150 add close now it will be and goes to the beams select the beams click on assign desired beams assign yes go to plate thickness now at first we have to create the slab for that go to generate surface machine now select the corner nodes quadrant set the quadrantal machine click on ok division will be 1 and click on apply now our plate is created now select plate cut slab you can see our plate is created our slab is created now click on spread the plate thickness select the plate click on assign the selectives assign yes I can check the strategy now this is our slab close it close it close it now I have to give the load for then go to load cast detail add date load if title date add if and close now date load click on add self weight and floor load minus 5 and close when for live load click on add floor load will be minus 2 and add close now click on self weight goes to total structure assigned to view and it is assigned so you have to design it for that go to design concrete design select your code i am going to select bs8007 now select the parameters i am going to select clear fc and fi main ok define the parameters for slab the cover will be 30 mm 0.030 and FC will be 20,000 and FI main will be 
फोर वन फाइव जीरो 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 एट क्रॉस नाउ क्लियर विल बी टोटल स्ट्रक्चर वेर यू आर गोइंग टू नीड द स्लैब नॉट द बीम ओके सो इट गोज टू द होल स्ट्रक्चर एस एंड ऑफ यू असाइन एस एफ सी असाइन टू व्यू by main assign to view and go to command take design beam and design slab now beam goes to the select the curl beams click on assign to curl beams and select the beam assign yes now design element it is main now select plate cursor select the plate Click on Assign to Slit Tapers and Assign and Yes. Now go to Comment, Analyze, Part of Analyze, No Print, OK, Analyze, Run Analyze, Save. We just take only the slab reinforcement. Go to View Output File. Nothing to worry. Go to result, concrete design. You just take the slab design, not the beam design. Okay, this is the slab design. Okay, design element. Now this is our slab depth 150 millimeter, cover 30 millimeter. Now this is our reinforcement. Okay. Now use 12 millimeter bar in the this AST okay now this is our result you can copy the result and paste in your suitable position so that's it that's how you gonna design brick structure in stack pro okay so Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe in my channel. Okay. Thank you.